so what's up guys so let me tell you the whole journey of this video this trip is a trip of the FMF um, hiking group video we're gonna go to Jebel Shams. The highest resort you have to take left I think towards to the jump off. It's around uh, like around five hours drive from Dubai and um, uh, we'll be heading to Jebel Shams and that's the place where we are uh, going to leave our car we call it a jump off base um, Very nice. Uh, the elevation uh, on that area <laughs> is already approximately like 1,900 feet, and we'll be hiking all the way to the summit, which takes like around a total of like 13, approximately like 13 kilometers of hiking, and just a one-way direction. So total uh, hiking will be approximately like around 25 uh, kilometers why Where? they call W4 by? W4 yeah W4 by Mogs no idea there what? is W6 here is W4 <laughs> ah, is... I know because it's one two three no by W is means a whiskey point whiskey <laughs> whiskey point yes. <laughs> whiskey direction it's too much it's like a poison it's like a poison very good. <laughs> we stop over on the uh, cliff, which is they call it like a ridge, and it's amazing uh, views because you can able to see the the Grand Canyon on the opposite side. Very um, nice. The mountain is amazing. The rock formation and the views are awesome. It's a one of a kind like uh, experience if you've never been in, you know, like a hiking trip. Grand Canyon. Look at that. Look at that. Look over there. The temperature drops like around 10 degrees approximately of the place where we decided just to camp instead of going all the way to the summit let's go let's go so the situation right now uh, we're looking for a campsite feasible campsite which is flat yeah flat grounds very slow so yeah flat and maybe I'm suggesting that that ridge right yeah that ridge over there sure no problem. let me see over there there Hey bro, JR, yeah. <laughs> you're from where? From Chiquilla. Chiquilla? Yeah. Ah, you're alone? Yes, I'm alone. Wow. Uh, look, I will show you. Brave guy. We are here. Yeah. Yes, we are here. This is an uh, actual open, open place. Mm. It's about 20 meters long. Uh, mm. uh, not, it, is, it is not the way, but this place uh, without uh, without trees without yeah, uh, okay. uh, without without uh, boulders uh -huh. and i think that there is possible to to camp to camp yeah
No, okay, we're going to have a dance. I'm going to have a bag. 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 With all time favorite spitoy is cooking. Maling. Maling. For life. Maling. Corn beef. Corn beef. Ano ko pa lang yaya? Mga kalokohan dyan, ha? Too much windy. Too much cold. It's freezing outside. Maybe 13, 11 degrees. Ha, ha, ha. The following day when we like left from the campsite, uh, we leave the things, uh, the tent and the, the stuff that we don't really need to hike all the way to the summit. Let's go, our second day. <sighs> we'll continue the journey. This is very dangerous. Anytime, yeah. this can collapse. The other one is already cracked, and yeah. that's the only area that is holding. Yeah. And also there. So don't ever, don't dare to take the rest going up there. Yeah. Whenever you come in this kind of place, you have to check properly the rocks that you're standing. Yeah. You see? It will be like falling down or it can be collapsed. Yeah, even this one, yeah? Right? Yeah. Ah! Let's go. <laughs> Before it collapses, huh? Yeah. It started to crack here already. Shit didn't realize this <laughs> you see it's see? been separated it's been separated already you see ah now go on again chabay nagliki na dey oh di ni kakumpiyan sa under eh no manam daily advisable not advisable to take pictures in a group oh okay bukat more than 10 people so let more than 10 people one ton uh -huh. when it no yeah you don't know that it's just a small weight more what about this? <laughs> this, would, uh, no. this is okay? bye okay. bye where we are right now we're currently near the Coliseum near the North Summit once we are in the North Coliseum we will be turning right from there maybe uh, another 2 hours it will be elevation Maybe around 2,800 From there on, we will hike 2 hours going to the South Summit which is around 2,907 meters elevation Really? Yeah So how many kilometers more from here? From here, I think it should be 7 at least 7? Seven? 7 We have now 3.64 kilometers From the jump up, I from the, from the campsite, campsite, campsite yeah. oh, okay. We're good. So, four, five more minutes. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Still long way to go. I, th way to I go. thought I thought that's the mountain already. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what? During the trail of the hiking experience, it was so intense because the wind it was like uh, very strong. Yeah. Guys. I think this is one of a kind hike I've ever done in my life. 
hiking like this, it's very cold. The temperature drops around 8 degrees away. like around 30 to 35 uh, knots of the speed of the wind and it's freezing because it all of a sudden the temperature drops around 7 to 8 degrees before <laughs> we come. reach yeah. to the summit so we use this one uh, <laughs> yeah. it's too cold yeah look my hands is freezing like here yeah. Fucking cold. <laughs> See? <sighs> and I wear my shorts. <laughs> I didn't expect that this cold. Wearing my the biggest jacket I have ready, which I wear last time when I was sleeping. Still I feel cold. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's amazing when we reach to the summit. Everyone is uh, uh, lugging their names in the book <laughs> to sign and just yes. to you know to prove uh, that uh, you live in that uh, on that place on that uh, you know, uh, top of the uh, mountain. This is the best. Uh, it's basically like a compass. So this is north. That's the east. That's the west. And that's the south. Yeah. For every location, there's a mountain pertaining to it. Uh, it's one of the landmark in the Jebel South, South Summit. Finally arrived. Woo! Finally reached. Hold the flag, guys. This is the flag, guys. Oman flag. The second uh, tallest mountain in the uh, GCC. Build this place to shelter yourself because it's so cold and windy here. And if you don't have like uh, what you call there, the barrier or the fence, you'll be freezing. It's freaking freezing, guys! 
see the people here? Came like a goat here. You see? <laughs> Picture kayo muna dyan. Picture! 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 One more. One, two. And by the way, this mountain is the second highest uh, like uh, mountain in the whole GCC. So the following day, the second day, we hike and we just like stay there and have some snack and grab the things that you can eat along the way of the hiking because it took us like around five hours approximately to go up uh, from the camp base and going down it took us only like around minimum like around two hours approximately two hours more or less I think this is the last climb of this day my legs is cramping already Wow, nice sunset. Time lapse tayo sa gate. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> Pero mauna ako, Brad. I time lapse mo kasi inano ko yung mga ten. Ten mo? Time lapse. And yeah, so we're supposed to go back all the way to the jump off. Okay, ina na. Time to eat. <laughs> Because that time uh, we ran out of stocks like supplies, the food, the war, and like because everyone is tired because of the hike we did all the way to the summit. So we decided just to stay the second night on the place where we camp. So right now we're deciding whether we go back to the jump off or we'll be staying here and camp again. Dubai, what's your decision making? Interview natin sila. For now, what's the meeting situation? Play safe tayo dapat sila. So some some are not capable of going down. Yeah. So we have to stay. I just wanted to show you know, the whole scenario and the whole experience of this trip because this is very intense uh, hiking experience that I did in my whole life. And uh, so thankful that FMF welcomed me to join with their group of hiking and they teach me a lot of things like what things you need to bring and like uh, the lightest pack that you can you know get like the hammock, the food, the water that you should have like around 15 more or less kg because if you carry like more than 20 kg then you'll be struggling and suffering for carrying your things all the way up to the mountain to the summer so enjoy my video and stay tuned firing Oh, 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 oh,